Hello, my name's Dave, and this is Stand Ape Adventures. Uh, today we're up in the Quahana Wilderness, and uh, we're on a backpacking trip. It's uh, Thanksgiving Day, and uh, so we're not too far um, from the camping spot, about two miles. Um, for those of you that are new to the channel, uh, welcome. Uh, it's mostly backpacking oriented, uh, some other outdoor stuff. And for those of you been following along for a while, yeah, it's been... It's been a while for a trip video, so uh, I'm super happy to be in the woods. Some things in life changed, and I'm going to be able to pump out some more material. Um, but yeah, so give you a little swirl around here. And uh, yeah, so I got a bunch of new equipment. Um, I haven't tested any of it hardly. Uh, I know I look all got this new... Uh, base layer, <laughs> new new mid layer, uh, new tent, new sleeping bag, new sleeping mat, um, getting ready for the winter months, going to test out this uh, this combo here, it's like 40 degrees, um, I'm, I'm feeling good, uh, nice and warm, uh, so let's uh, get onto the campsite and uh, see if we can find a mossy rock, I'm not sure that there is one before the campsite, but as usual, it's uh, we got about about an hour or two of light, and that's about it. So uh, let's get moving. So um, we made it down to uh, Meeker. That's where we're wanting to go. Uh, so there was one car parked up there, and um, so they're probably down. If they're backpacking, they're probably down in here. Um, it's the Camping's not too far from where we're at now. So, I was expecting to be by myself down here, um, considering this Thanksgiving. But, uh, we are also in the no horses area. So, as you can see, um, no horses are allowed here. So, don't bring your horse into this area. First mossy rock in a while. Been missing it bad. But I'm uh, I'm super glad to be out. Back to my Thanksgiving tradition of being outside. So I'm, I'm down by the creek now. Um, I did hear some people talking, so I don't know if someone's down in here or not. So there's, I can either go up that way or down this way. So I'm going to try going down this way first and see if there's a nice little camping spot. Um, you can see it's getting, <laughs> of course, it's getting dark. I just entered the, the thicker woodland here. I'm in bear country now. and uh, But I'm going to see if there's a camping spot down this way. If not... 
I'm gonna head back down there. So I found um, this little sneak spot here. And this is nice when the leaves are down. Um, you know, someone left a little bit of garbage behind. Some candles. Um, not really a good spot for a tent anywhere. So, yeah, um, I'm going to go down closer to the creek and see if I can see anything that way. So, I, uh, I walked up that ways a little bit, so... This is where I come to plan the camp, but there's another spot, but it has been used for quite some time. Um, at least four years or so. So it's not completely in order. So, uh, this is, uh, home for the night. And of course it's, I got about a half hour <laughs> before it's dark. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and get everything set up. And uh, it looks like it's been a little while since someone's been down here, too. So, I wanted to show you one of my new pieces of gear, and that's this little titanium grill. Um, you can fit about two hamburgers or a nice steak on it, no doubt. But most of the time, I, uh, I, I uh, boil my water over the fire, um, for dinners anyways. Um, and so, this is, it weighs less than two ounces, and um, I don't know, it probably, probably gets super hot. Uh, it's, no, it's not hot at all. And then I got uh, some uh, Trail Magic dinner, shrimp and grits with bacon. And so, yeah, I uh, just wanted to show you that new piece of gear there. Well, <laughs> ate my dinner, got camp all set up, and uh, so yeah, it's been it's been eight months since I slept in the woods. I tried to uh, I tried to go back a couple times, but I was in a position where I only had a few few hours to be able to hike, and um, so I went to a few different spots, and you know, there was people there. And that happened to me twice and you know that's that's the way it goes um, I'm glad more people were in the woods the woods not too bad here but I, I thank everyone that's been it didn't, didn't unsubscribe because I wasn't putting out a lot of content that'll change but man it's really good to get this <laughs> I got that tent in the spring, and, and that's this is the first night I get in it, and I was so I'm super excited for this tent, and I'll show you guys that in the morning. But I got a nice little fire kicking, and <coughs> excuse me, want some um, carbon fiber? I got a, um, I got a, a new smartwatch, and um, it, it told me I'm fat and <laughs> out of shape. Like after about two miles, it's I, I I gained so much weight, and I'm not being able to get out. But like I said, that's a different story. I'm so glad to be out and got the. Getting to try out a bunch of new gear. We always like that stuff, us backpackers. Um, I'm pretty much um, got a whole complete new winter load out from the head to toe and tent and every everything. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited for. I tend to backpack more in the winter than I do the rest of the year. And um, there's, an, there's an owl over there. I wish I could show it to you that you'll never see it um but yeah I, thanks for sticking around and any new subscribers look forward i'm gonna i'm gonna try to do some gear videos i, I don't know so but i do got a couple pieces of gear that um have, have helped me out a lot recently and i'm gonna um share those with you 
in upcoming videos. So, but I'm gonna um go ahead and <coughs> tear down the, that light and um <coughs> put on some Grateful Dead. And I uh, enjoy this night in the woods that, I, that I'm, I'm blessed to have, Thanksgiving Day. That's what I'm thankful for right now, just being out here and, uh, and enjoying, enjoying, my, enjoying myself in nature for sure. Um, it's been way too long, way, way too long, and uh, I needed this. But I'm going to call it an early night. Like I said, I'm going to smoke another bowl and... I hit this rum a couple more times. It's like eight o'clock. I, I normally when I'm in the woods, I normally don't go to sleep till two, and I wake up at six, no matter, no matter what. Generally, but I think, think tonight I'm gonna call, call it early, and uh, get a good night's sleep. So, um, I'll see you guys in the morning. Uh, like I said, I look forward to showing you my new tent and um, some of the other pieces of gear. I did show you that. Um, I got to go hang my bear bag too. I did show you that, that titanium grill I have, and um, that weighs under two ounces. That thing's awesome. That's gonna did change my food game up a whole lot. Wakey bakey. <coughs> so um yeah, I slept pretty good last night. Uh <coughs> digging this tent. I can't tell you the last time I've <laughs> had a tent where I could sit up like this in. Um I'm pretty geeked about that. It's got a super small footprint. Um I was kind of going to go with a Durston, but uh, but this released about the same time as the wow, one of the newer, I don't know if it was Durston 2.0 or which one it was, but um, it's, it's, this just has a smaller footprint, and um, I, I have like a, a tarp tent sort of, so um, yeah, I, I needed a, um, a freestanding tent. It, it checked off all the boxes for me. I'll show you around it a little bit and show you what I'm kind of the, the big three that I'm rocking today. <coughs> I slept good last night. I slept for about eight hours too, which is awesome. But I gotta uh, get camp ball tore down. Um, but I'll show you around, and uh, like I said, I'll show you the the big big three. I'm not gonna get too much into the tent quite yet. I want to get it out a few more times. Um, I didn't I didn't even put the the um, rain rain fly on. It's just uh, it was kind of a nice night, and didn't really need it so. I, I prefer to, this is another thing that I miss is, you know, with most tents these days, you know, they're either single walled or, you know, if it's a tarp or, um, you know, you, it's nice to be able to just have that mesh and look up and see the, the stars twinkling through the trees. I miss that a lot. And, um, I don't. I didn't realize how much I missed th that in particular, and uh, so that's another big reason for the the, the change in um in my. Uh, this is actually going to be my winter tent, and I'll explain a little bit as I'm walking around. 
but um, it's definitely built for it's definitely built for uh, winter use. So I'm gonna um, finish this cup of coffee, finish this bowl, and then uh, I'll take you a quick w walk around the campsite, uh, show you a really big mushroom, and then um, yeah, and then get moving, get moving. So this is um this is a little stream. You can see it's got a couple little cascades. Um just enough just enough noise. It's a little native brookie stream, there's native brookies in there. Um and then this was the fire pit last night. It was this is my third time camping here. Uh, like I said, I think one of my first video to Quahanna, um, I did a three or four day trip and now uh, this was one of the campsites I stayed at. Um, so this is the, the Sling Fin Portal 1 and uh, you can see like how small this footprint is. And I just like that, like I said, how high it goes up. So it's got these um, on this cross connector here. You can, st I can stick your trekking poles on both sides of this. Um, and um, shore it up for a uh, snow load or wind load. And if you look here, these these two lines here, I can also tighten up the shore it up even more. But I'll get into that once it, whenever I get the next time I have the rain fly on it. Um, so that's the tent I'm using. It's the Slingfin Portal One. And then I'm, I'm rocking my uh, my Mikkel backpack, my small one. It's uh, called the Bump. Um, I'm loving that. Been loving that bag. It, it fits perfect, as it should. Um, and then, uh, so I got the new first time sleeping on this outside. I slept on it at home about three times to make sure it was um, was good to go. Um, the Appalachian Mountain Gear bag liner, uh, pillow head, thermo rest pillow head, or something like that. And then. Um, I got uh, Feathers Friends uh, 30 degree quilt, and uh, yeah, I was just <laughs> struggling with this whole um, quilt stuff. So I have a 20 and a 40, and the 20 doesn't fit in that bag with everything else that well. I can get, I can compress it down, but I prefer not to compress my down that that much. Um, and then, um, and then underneath. I have uh, the Thermarest um, Z Light, and uh, I, that was it. Got to 35. I was toasty warm, maybe sweating a little bit, and that's the problem. That was the problem with the 20. When it's like, you know, right around 30 degrees at 20, I'm still sweating in a little bit, and I take my 20 down into the mid-teens, and I'm and I'm fine. Um, so the 40 at like 30 degrees is just a little you can manage i've had that thing down to 25 and i was cold as hell that and uh so the 40 degree with this i can get down to about 35 and be pretty comfortable no problem um but so yeah so this is the first time using uh this 30 degree quilt and uh I can't say enough about the quality of feathered feathered friends. Um, so it's it's also a, a sleeping bag. It doesn't have a hood on it, but I um I just zip it up and this is this is pretty light. It, um, it's it's just right around a pound, and you know you got it. It still has a draft collar even though that it's a quilt. Um, so it's yeah, the quality is just amazing. I, if you if you have the coin to spend on it, I would get Feathers Friends over anything. And um, so let's, uh, I'm going to go show you this mushroom real fast. So uh, here's that uh, piece of chaga. You can't, it's it's hard to get a comparison of how big this thing is. It's, it's about the size of a football. Um, it's a big horn of chaga, and uh, 
I've been watching this thing grow for like uh, four years now and it's definitely getting bigger and bigger. Well, I'm gonna show you kind of how I pack up my, um, my what I call my camp bag. Everything that's like inside the tent goes there. So um, an extra pair of darn tough socks. But So I take the, the sleeping pad and I put that in there. And then I um, put my uh, bag liner. And then I put my electronics in. And then the pillow. Um, this is my... Um, like camp bag, my toothbrush, toothpaste, some some brawners, which makes everything smell so good. And then um, this is just a spare set of clothing, a pair of pants. It all weighs that set that spare set of clothing weighs like weigh well under a pound. And that's just if I get too dirty to get in the sleeping bag or if I need. <laughs> need to put on dry clothes or something like that and and so pretty much it all fits in, in one of these pods and um now it goes directly on top of my sleeping bag it's it's definitely the heaviest uh heaviest part of my bag and uh yeah that's how i uh so that's pretty much every everything that goes inside the tent and my electronics So, um, I'm moving back to the car, and, uh, yeah, this, um, this, uh, Polar Tech, so this is the 120, um, and this is, uh, uh I can't remember who it's from, it's Senshi Designs, and, uh, this, and this, um, Bernier, which I'm 100% sure that I'm probably wearing it backwards, but, um, you know, it's, <laughs> you know uh but it, it, it this combo works wow it, it's um it's nice it's it's real nice it's keeping me warm like i said last night i didn't have to it's probably like 35 and now i'm moving around cutting wood and stuff like that so it uh it kept me warm which i was really surprised um so this is i i have the synthetic um model and so this polar tech is awesome in a lot of ways but um it sucks in some ways as you i don't know if you can tell but like yeah you see there like it's just um it's just whatever touches it it sheds and like god forbid like you know you get some velcro near this thing it's all over um that, that's that's for sure i already did it once and it, you just it just rips rips it apart essentially um but this is the 120 um, I don't think I would use it for anything but winter, um, just because you're only going to get, realistically, you're only going to get a full season out of this. Um, I, you're, if you're putting any time in the woods, this, this isn't going to, like I said, you're going to get like, not even like, you're going to get a season like <laughs> fall, winter, or summer, because this stuff is just going to fall apart. Um, but it works really well, and so the cost versus the versus how, how much you use it and if that's what you're looking for um but yeah on that note i'm gonna go ahead and uh thank you guys very much for uh joining me along um like subscribe uh i'll post a link to that titanium grill there'll be some other uh some other amazon links which i do get a commission off of am amazon affiliate so if you want to support the channel, hit one of them links. Uh, but the best way is to, of course, just like and subscribe, leave a comment, um, let me know what, what, what's the what's the longest amount of time you had between trips. Um, I, I know that I did get out for a bunch of day hikes here and there, but it's, it's not this quite the same if you're you know want to be backpacking. And I have really, um, like I said, I'm gonna miss back to the car. And uh, <laughs> so thanks guys and I uh, will see you next time.